Hello friends, today we are going to learn vertical plane of symmetry. This plane intersects along a line or parallel to line or in most cases it passes through the atoms and it is represented with the symbol sigma v. If we consider the example of water molecule, this black line represents the presence of C2 axis in this case that passes through this oxygen atom. If we pass a plane through this oxygen atom, this plane divides this molecule into two equal parts and these two equal parts are mirror images of each other. This is the first plane of symmetry. Therefore, I represent this plane of symmetry with sigma v prime. If we consider the same example, it also shows the presence of second vertical plane of symmetry and this second vertical plane of symmetry passes through this oxygen atom, hydrogen atom and this hydrogen atoms. It divides this molecule into two equal parts and that are also mirror images of each other. Therefore, this is the second vertical plane of symmetry. It is represented with the symbol sigma v double prime. Collectively, in a single molecule, you can show two plane of symmetry. First one passes through this oxygen atom and divides this molecule into two equal parts and second that passes through this oxygen, hydrogen and this hydrogen atoms. And kindly note one thing here, this plane is always parallel to the principal axis. According to this statement, these two planes are parallel to this principal axis and any plane that are parallel to the principal axis falls in the category of vertical plane of symmetry. This is the model of water molecule where this one is oxygen atom, this is first hydrogen atom and this is second hydrogen atom. If I want to rotate this molecule in order to get equivalent configuration, it represents presence of C2 in this way. Therefore, principal axis in this case is C2. If I pass a plane through this oxygen atom, it divides this molecule into two equal parts and these two equal parts are mirror images of each other. This line is also parallel to the principal axis. Therefore, it represents vertical plane of symmetry. If I hold this water molecule in this way and principal axis passes through this oxygen atom, you can rotate this molecule in this direction. If I pass a plane through this oxygen atom and this hydrogen atom, it divides this oxygen into two equal parts this hydrogen into two equal parts and this second hydrogen into two equal parts. It also shows the presence of vertical plane of symmetry. In this way, it is also parallel to the principal axis and therefore water molecule shows the presence of two vertical plane of symmetry. First one that passes through the oxygen atom and second one that includes all atoms. Let's take an example of BF3 molecule where this one is the boron atom F1, F2 and F3. The angle between F1, boron and F2 is of 120 degree. Therefore, it shows the presence of C3 axis and this is the position of C3 axis. Then, if I pass an imaginary plane between these two atoms, it divides the molecule into two equal parts and these equal parts are mirror images of each other. And this plane is parallel to this principal axis and therefore it is falls in the category of vertical plane of symmetry. Similarly, I pass the plane through this atom, it also divides the molecule into two equal parts and if I pass a plane through this direction, it also 
divides the molecule into two equal parts and these two equal parts are mirror images of each other and it is parallel to the principal axis and therefore it shows the presence of vertical plane of symmetry in this way there are three vertical plane of symmetry present in this bf3 molecule In this case, C4 is the principal axis that passes through this platinum atom and if I pass a plane through this atoms, then it divides the molecule into two equal parts and these two equal parts are mirror images of each other and this plane is parallel to the principal axis, therefore it is known as vertical plane of symmetry. Similarly. This plane is also parallel to the principal axis and divide the molecule into two equal parts and these two equal parts are mirror images of each other. Therefore, this molecule shows the presence of vertical plane of symmetry. In this way, this molecule contains two vertical plane of symmetry. Thank you.